So now are we ready to do measures of center digitally? Again, I think you're going to find it's a lot easier, um, especially with all the data that you've got. So we learned that when we use the mean as our measure of center, um, our measures of spread can be range or the MAD, the mean absolute deviation. So let's look at how we can do both of those. I'm going to type a title here for the range. In the box below it, I'm actually going to calculate it. Um, since I'm asking Google Sheets to calculate it, I start with an equal sign. The range is the maximum minus the minimum. So all I need to do is find my maximum. Then I press the subtraction key right above the letter P. Um, then I click on the minimum. I hit Enter. And there is my answer for range. Um, for the MAD, I'm going to type a title here in this box. In the box below it, I hit equals. Um, Google Sheets does not use the word MAD. It uses average deviation. So we're going to start typing A, V, E, D. And there we see it right away. Average deviation. It brings up the parentheses for us. So all we have to do is highlight our data. You can use this data set here that we put in order, or you could have used the original data. Uh, once I've told it which numbers to use, I close the parentheses, hit Enter, and there is our mean average deviation. Um, when we did it by hand, we found 2 and 44 hundredths. OK, that means we round it off a little bit. Let's lower the number of decimal places here. And we see exactly the same thing. OK, now our third uh, measure of spread, if we've been using median as our measure of center, um, we do want our interquartile range to go with it. Here it is a little bit of uh, more work digitally. We're going to have to find each quartile. Um, and then we can take away or subtract our quartile answers. Um, so I'm going to title this Q1. And in the box below it, I type an equal sign. I'm going to have it calculate a quartile. Now here we have to tell Google Sheets two things. Um, we have to highlight the data that we're going to use. Um, and then we need to tell it which quartile we want quartile one or quartile three. Also, I just remembered um, there's different ways to do quartile. So we're going to do one that excludes the median. So we actually need to pick this second quartile command, quartile.exclude. OK, once that comes up and we have the open parentheses there, then we highlight all our data. We type a comma and one so that Google Sheets knows um, we want to find the first quartile. Then we close the parentheses, hit Enter. And you may remember our quartile one was 2 and a half, 2 and 5 tenths. OK, next we have quartile 3. Q3 is the title. In the box underneath it, press Equals. We're going to use the quartile.exclude. We see the open parentheses there. We highlight all our data. Okay. Now, before we close the parentheses, we have to type a comma and the number three so that it looks for the third quartile. Close up your parentheses. There's quartile three, the eight. Now we can have Google Sheets subtract those numbers um, to find our IQR. Type the title here in this box. We go to the box below it. Okay. We press an equal sign, we click on the 8, we type a minus, we click on the 2 and 5 tenths, we hit enter, there is our IQR. Hope you had fun with that. It's a lot easier than doing all of that work by hand. Thank you, guys.